Hi guys, Chris M0RSF, long time no see, trust everybody's well. Little video today regarding running PSK31 with the Yesu FT817ND transceiver. Loads of videos online already, I know there is, it's been done to death. Uh, this is my take on it. Some of the videos I agree with, some I disagree with. And you're probably thinking, why do I disagree with those? Some say when you're transmitting your TX signal, you should run with a couple of bars or full ALC, automatic level control. Wrong. Shocking. If you do run with ALC, what you'll find is your transmitted signal will be distorted. It makes it difficult to decode at the receiving station. Your signal will be wide, you'll soon get told on the waterfall, okay, it's wrong. The software I'm using, I use FL Digi and I use it with a login program. I use Log4OM, excellent Log4OM. The reason I use these two is FL Digi has its own logbook. When I log a QSO in FL Digi, Log4OM, it monitors the logbook in FL Digi. As soon as I log something, Log4OM, thank you very much grabs that QSO for himself and logs it. Log4OM then uploads that QSO to the usual places, HRD log, club log, QRZ, um, EQSL, logbook of the world if you use it, um, straight away real time. The hardware I'm using is the FT817ND, the one on the right as you look at this video, maybe see one on the, the left as you look at it, this one's for HF, this one's for VHF, UHF, all modes of course. The interface I'm using is a ZLP data link interface. It has a built-in sound card. I don't know if you can see, you'll see it closer in a second. Two little controls, the rotary controls on the front, transmit and receive. Two little buttons, two little switches, one to turn it on and off. Now the other button is used for to change from one radio to another this interface connects to two transceivers so of course on this one on HF doing PSK31, JT9, JT65 just occasionally a few locals send a few pictures SSTV on two meters I don't have to mess about changing antennas I don't have to mess about swapping cables over a simple push of the button and that will then send audio not to that transceiver, to the other one. So it's a simple push of a button. Right, ft 817 nd transceiver, ZLP, Electronics Data Link Interface. I'm just going to put a CQ call out. Okay, so no ALC showing there. Now what I do, slowly adjust the transmit level. ALC's there, look, just one bar, back it off. There's no ALC showing there whatsoever on transmit change the radio to show the power out there's the full two and a half watts perfectly clean signal decoded at the other end easy enough you won't go upsetting anybody annoying anybody you get more friends you'll get more contacts it's exactly the same whether you're using PSK using JT65 JT9 any of the data modes or digital modes make sure you've not got ALC showing on transmit so one more time there's a full power out, just check the ALC level, nothing, the automatic level control, nothing showing. Now then, if you're at one place on the waterfall transmitting, working a station, and you decide to transmit somewhere else, higher or lower on the waterfall, just check your ALC again, because it can change. Okay, so you might have no ALC calling secure there, go somewhere else to work a station, and you may have ALC showing, so just keep an eye on it, okay? Camera's probably not picking up it, but that's a quick look at the logging program. Worked SP6 LUP on 20 meter PSK31. And the logbook, Log4OM, has grabbed that QSO from the FL Digi logbook and logged it and done what it has to do. Probably make another video on this Log4OM. There's loads of logging programs, there's certainly plenty of programs for data modes, digital modes, just personal preference. But I've settled on this one. 
Thanks for watching, chaps. See you on the next one. 7-3. All the best. Chris. M0RSF.